When it comes to the maestro of exploitation cinema, Herschel Gordon Lewis reigns supreme like a bloody, campy king on a throne made of severed limbs and questionable special effects. If you've ever found yourself knee-deep in buckets of fake blood while wondering how you got there, chances are you've wandered into one of Lewis' many grindhouse masterpieces. His movies range from deliciously awful to surprisingly brilliant in their own, gore-soaked ways. So let's dive headfirst, preferably not with a chainsaw, into the countdown of the internet's top 10 Herschel Gordon Lewis movies, starting with the absolute what were they thinking, and working our way up to okay, this one's kind of good in a weird way. 10. Monster A Go Go, 1965. Skull the Horror. Boredom? Widely regarded as a dumpster fire of epic proportions, Monster A Go Go was so bad that even Lewis himself basically gave up on it. Imagine a monster movie where the real monster is the sheer confusion you feel watching it. The plot? Barely existent. The action? Non existent. The audience's will to live? Drained. If you can get through this one, you deserve an award, or at least a free therapy session. Trophy hashtag monsters should have stayed gone. Hashtag cinematic train wreck. 9. A Taste of Blood, 1967. Vampire Dracula, but make it sleepy. This one could have been the Citizen Kane of vampire flicks, if Citizen Kane were a sedative. At over two hours, a taste of blood feels like it's trying to hypnotize you into forgetting you ever press play. Dracula gets resurrected through some blood-flavored whiskey, seriously, and goes on a mild-mannered revenge spree. It's more afternoon tea than bloodthirsty rage. Yawning face hashtag vampires who nap hashtag bloody snooze fest. 8. Scum of the Earth, 1963. Camera with flash, bad decisions in black and white. Before Lewis dove headfirst into the bloodbath genre, he gave us this exploitative, low-rent cautionary tale about dirty photographers and even dirtier morals. Scum of the Earth is basically the cinematic equivalent of a Don't Talk to Strangers PSA, except with more bad decisions and worse dialogue. It's a grimy little flick, but at least it's short. Sunglasses, hashtag Stranger Danger the Movie, hashtag Low Budget Grind, 7. Just for the hell of it, 1968. Asterisk, asterisk. Smiling face with horns teenagers. Nature's worst enemy. Here, we get a bunch of rowdy teens who do bad things for no reason other than the movie title promises it. Chaos reigns, windows are smashed, and honestly, you'll be left wondering if the real horror is what passes for entertainment. It's like rebel without a cause. If that cause was petty vandalism and annoying everyone in a five-mile radius. <laughs> if you like this video, give us a thumbs up and join the crew by subscribing and clicking the bell. Guitar. Six, The Wizard of Gore, 1970. Top hat, now you see it, now you gag. Uh, now we're cooking with magic tricks? In The Wizard of Gore, a magician with a penchant for grisly tricks performs the kind of illusions you won't find at your local kid's birthday party. Imagine David Blaine, but with more dismemberment. It's gory, nonsensical, and filled with enough fake entrails to start a prop museum. Man Mage hashtag not your grandpa's magician hashtag Gorgalore. Hashtag 5. The Gruesome Twosome, 1967. Old Woman Grandma's Wig Shop of Horrors. What's worse than a bad wig? How about a bad wig shop run by a cannibalistic old lady and her creepy son? The gruesome twosome delivers on the title, and let's just say it's not for the faint of heart, or those with good taste. The kills are brutal, the dialogue is laughable, and the wigs? Honestly, they're really bad. Jack-o'-lantern, hashtag bad hair day, she devils on wheels, 1968, asterisk, asterisk, motorcycle, motorcycles, mayhem, and misandry. Lewis takes a break from the bloodbath to give us an all-female biker gang that kicks, but, and takes names in She Devils on Wheels. It's loud, it's ridiculous, and it's everything you didn't know you needed from a biker film. Sure, the acting is as stiff as the bikes, but who cares when the dialogue is pure campy gold? Sign of the Horns, hashtag biker chicks rule, hashtag three. Color me blood red, 1965. Asterisk, asterisk. Artist palette Bob Ross would be horrified. Take one unhinged artist, add some human blood as paint, 
and you've got Color Me Blood Red. It's part of Lewis' Blood Trilogy and brings a certain artsy flair to the gore genre. Imagine if every time you painted a happy little tree, you had to slaughter someone for it. Yeah, this movie goes there. Deciduous tree, hashtag, happy little murders, hashtag, blood on canvas. Hashtag, 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 two. 2000 Maniacs, 1964. Black flag welcome to the South, y'all. Asterisk. What's worse than getting lost in a small southern town? Getting lost in a town that still thinks it's the Civil War and celebrates with human sacrifices. 2000 Maniacs is a twisted take on southern hospitality, with folksy charm and brutal dismemberments in equal measure. You'll never look at a town festival the same way again. Circus Dent Hashtag Southern Hospitality Hashtag Maniacal Fun Hashtag 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 One Blood Feast 1963 Asterisk Asterisk Fork and Knife with Plate The Granddaddy of Gore And here it is, the one that started it all. Blood Feast is the first splatter film, the one that unleashed Herschel Gordon Lewis' reign of terror upon the world. A crazed Egyptian caterer, yes, really, starts offing people to complete a sacrificial feast for an ancient goddess. The acting is wooden, the effects are hilariously bad, and the plot is paper thin, but it's a classic. Drop of blood, hashtag, feast of flesh, hashtag, birth of splatter. Whether you love them or love to hate them, Herschel Gordon Lewis films are the epitome of low-budget brilliance. His movies pave the way for gore hounds everywhere, and we have him to thank or blame for the glorious mess that is exploitation cinema. So next time you sit down to watch one of his blood-soaked masterpieces, remember, this is art. Horrible, awful art, but art nonetheless. Clapperboard artist palette drop of blood. Who's your daddy? <laughs>